Welcome welcome to Kuza Podcast. Habari za masiku tunashukuru sana kwa kuwa mmekuwa nasi kwenye mtandao na tunaomba ya kwamba Mungu ataendelea kuwapa nafasi ya kuwa nasi hapa leo kwa majina yetu Mavo au Mavopoli na tunashukuru sana kwamba tuko na wakati wa kunena juu ya mambo kadha wa kadha. Siku leo nataka kuongea kuhusu uh, shughuli hizi za kutuma pesa nyumbani. Yaani kama wewe umemaliza shule kama uko chuo kikuu uh, wewe kama ni Mkenya unajua kwamba wakati ukifika uh, simu fulani ukuja kwa simu yako ya rununu nasikia eh hey, hello sasa eh, si utu make it to home and that is something that all of us know that we've experienced right i mean you know we did this from your mom or from your small brother or sister or from your dad and the question is i mean how, how, how much of this should we be doing or is it even necessary because i know if you are in africa you know that this is something that is uh, for real by the time you're finishing high school you know i need to start providing uh, in some ways by the time you're third year in university you know the expectation is over your head by the time you're graduating in fact your graduation is your like a preparation for harvesting or right so when you the jana me graduate bam so sasa tuende tulete hizi vitu zingine so i don't know what your experience is but as you tune in i would want you to definitely follow us at www.kuzaapp.com and drop us a message about that but for today we want to give it some biblical um context and see uh, is it necessary and, and and how far and how much are we supposed to be doing this and to help me the conversation today i have two gentlemen here i have uh, one who is uh, Hopefully get bro are you getting married soon I mean, this is coming anyway one of the, the singles uh-huh. in the house uh uh-huh. Saddam Vic Wenye and we have uh, the newly married in the house thank you thank yeah, you just oh, just oh, yes, when you yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. I'm course. just thinking for Vic Ajue Father Francis yeah. and a revisit constitution Uh, uh, to allow people to eh. the priests to to marry uh, so i think if he was not up to date uh, there is hope there is hope <laughs> well people conversation you hear happen like that now quick question as we proceed on with this have you had an experience with this kind of conversation that you did today um, married man Yes, I have had uh, these phone calls. All right. And uh but one thing I thank God for is um as much as I have done a lot to support before I married um uh, my mom was really uh, yani alikuwa tu mtu very understanding okay. that despite the struggles the ups and downs uh, she really wanted to see me progress all right and so pia alikuwa ananiwekea limit you know you cannot go beyond here mm-hmm. and uh, alikuwa anani push like you know wewe you you are pasi hao yako lazima ikaepoa right. place unaishi angalia place unaishi right. uh, watu wakitembea at least you need to have a good image right. out there yeah. so so even if she was in need and kwa vitu kadhaa right. i really thank god that uh, she was really understanding okay. na alikam through in a big way all right so damn mm. you i mean how 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 was this for you when you're growing up I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm still I'm a, growing up. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <and it's laughs> when you were, when you were growing up, <laughs> oh, hey. as you are growing, oh, how hey. is this thing going on? Abadu tuna pigana na yo maneno. Abadu kwa hapo. Eh, atuma ka kitu hata leo ime happen. Hadi leo. Asiwe hata wala haja. Wala haja pita. My life, my so, life. Yeah. Uh, we we are we are we are we are doing it yeah, yeah. Uh, we are doing it yeah, yeah. Mm. 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 it's not a stranger si stranger hii yeah. uh, huyu ni mtu tunajua ah vizuri my friend hey. you know <laughs> <laughs> anyway now I, I, i don't know i mean at some, to, at, some, at some point it almost comes out like it is something that is um, you know uh, comes out as manipulative all right mm. you know there are parents who um, you know they tell you send money and then uh, oh, you know at this and this has happened you know just and it can be any random thing to me a person mabati nitoboka mvua inanyesha kwa nyumba you know or siku kwote walikufa na ugonjo and then weko mta kanairo unatuma do ai muda siku moja ukilanduka hivyo na gundua kuku si mpya you know as in ni kama connectivity ongezewa bla 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 so sometimes it can be manipulative all right sometimes it can be an imposed exercise you know it's like you're just doing it because i have to do it all right i don't think that's the right way to do it sometimes we are, it, it's a bother for many people yeah. to do that i think what we want to establish today is how do we how do we do that 
um kind of thing yeah, from a heart that is you know joyful you know i think we need to build this conversation uh, so then we're able to for the guys who are tuning in we're able to know uh kama wewe kwa hivyo uli manipulate you into it ama uli kwa coerced into it what's the best way to respond first and mm-hmm. foremost uh if we are going to set foundation for this conversation we need to talk about uh probably just the whole uh, idea of family you know uh because these are mostly family members i mean ukisikia precious do young of line uli muona kama hata ujikujua watu alafu wala basada za salazima i mean that's not necessary but this family this is called family i think the first thing that i want us to to respond to is what is the importance of family as a foundation for this conversation um, yes i think to start with that is that a family of course is uh, very important is very crucial yeah um you know in africa compared to other places we really value family you know what to kwa pamoja that means a lot and there is just that warmth that comes with it um having the quotes you know like it takes a whole village to raise a child so unapata vile unasema uncle fulani anasema mimi nililipanga school fees mwingine anasema mimi nilifanya hii as a result now vile umeendelea exactly so you see how family comes together especially even at very crucial moments uh, in our lives and as some, sometimes we feel indebted to them because of the things uh, that people have done to us but family looking at it uh, uh, that it is god who of course established and instituted uh, this uh, the whole institution of marriage and family uh, looking at genesis chapter 2 right. you know from verse mm-hmm. you no know, 24 look to think of even from verse 18 ta meumba hawa wanyama wote anaangalia anaona we huyu mjamaa amenem wote lakini hakuna kitu bado imembamba so he was like uh, yeah he's very alone and he needs a helper mm-hmm. and, uh, and so god out of that of course uh, brought eve into the space and not steve Ah uh, you know you know I was listening to that ka song ya boda boda yangu wawili wawili mimi na mke wangu okay and I was like yeah that's a ka nice song of the season so yeah so again god in terms of this family you know institution are uh, talking about how he has bind us together he has made us to bond together right. even by giving us his love mm. agape love you know that really binds us together right. um so that becomes very crucial God has brought this institution and then even in the interconnectedness of the entire family looking at the children coming into space you know husband and wife wife right. submit to your husband right. Ephesians 22 mm-hmm. all the way to 31 um husbands love your wives and then chapter 6 we have the dynamics of children coming in mm-hmm. and then the same relationship uh, parents and children being told on how to interact mm-hmm. and relate mm-hmm. and even going further looking even at Timothy you know in relation to single parents and people going through some challenges mm. and uh when Paul is advising in terms of how do we go about helping these needy people right. you see even an element of children still coming in mm. uh whereby mm. if somebody has children who are able you know to support yeah. that should not be considered as somebody who is needy right. or who is in that space that the yeah. church should come through for them because right. they have children who have obligations towards their parent mm. Uh, and so and so all this you realize that for we Christians of course uh, we want to honor God mm. uh, even as children right. uh, for the parents also on the other side they have their own obligation so we want to honor God in this institution right. and sometimes you feel you know we are bound by that right. so i think today's conversation is important ndio tuongee tujue hii story ya tuma kitu home sometimes umeoa sometimes you know yeah, yeah. unapitia yeah, yeah. issues zako tu zile wezi ongea kila wakati right. but how do we go about it i think right. this is a very important talk interesting, interesting. i yeah. think the, the, the very important thing that you're saying is that you know the family is interconnected yani there's there's a bond between the mother and the father the child and the brother and the sister and everything else is just coming in together mm. and, and 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 we cannot run away from it family is united and then they are, they are the legit uncles and aunties mm-hmm. those ones who they have honestly been around your space and they have watched you and they have taken care of you and all and so and their responsibility the responsibility is there and we can mm-hmm. and we can see it clearly the, the the responsibility of the parent the children and the responsibility of the children to the parent and it's supposed to be something joyful and so mm-hmm. as you talk about um you know history ya kusupport yana home and then uh, if that is the basis if god has given us family uh, foundation 
for our joy uh, and, and and for our, you know, for, for, for our helping each other in different circumstances, then what is a biblical view of supporting family? One, first of all, is it even biblical that we are supposed to be sending things home? Mm-hmm. Is, is, it, is, it, is there a, a biblical perspective towards uh, or, or about this uh, issue you could support family? Mm-hmm. Um, the, the right answer is yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and the right answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong answer uh-huh. would be no. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, there is a the bible really supports and god really uh, comes into this place and it's, it tells us to to see family as just as I was thinking i was thinking of uh, the scripture all the families in the bible god has really shown us he has worked within family abraham mm. and his children isaac right, right. jacob you see and so family is key mm. and so family also should support each other we see even when uh, I, uh was it Isaac when was old, he asked his son Ishmael to go and look for something to bring him to eat. Mm-hmm. And by that he would bless him. Right. And Jacob took advantage of that. Mm-hmm. And so there is a there is a good biblical presidents that shows us that we should support our parents at home. Okay. We should support our siblings. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. um uh, Timothy, right. First Timothy five eight. Um, it 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 basically says that that uh, you cannot say you are a believer and yeah. you are not supporting people of your household. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so here actually Paul is saying and the only what you expect for an unbeliever to do. Mm. The fact that you're a Christian, you are therefore obligated to help. Right. But not just people of your household, but also the needy, James and Asema mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. the same, the mm-hmm. same uh, vein. All right. That the pure religion is the one that you know you visit orphans, you care for the widows and the people around you, the needy in the society. And so supporting each other financially yeah. with in kind, mm-hmm. it is expected of someone who is a believer. It is expected. It is expected. You that, are at yeah, early, that is. If you, yeah. yeah. The, if you want, what we should like, what, what should what we should argue we should argue is to what extent. Okay. Yeah, but whether to support or not, it's a that's deal. Deal. like and, that's and, a given. And, and the Bible, the Bible is pro that okay. kind of thing. Yes, yes. Maybe to yes. Uh, share part of my a little bit of my story. I remember yeah. sometimes back I was still in college, mm. and uh, and I was supporting uh, our family. Uh, of course, helping my sis with her education, my mom, and doing some rent and some things. Right. And then this time, my mom just calls me, you know, mm. and she tells me something I had never thought about it. She was like, um, you see what you have been doing for us? Mm. Even when you have your own family, mm. the only thing that you'll have done is to transfer responsibility. Mm. But the same things she told me, you know, we are the same ladies. Even your wife will be a lady just like us. Mm. Uh, our needs will be just like her needs. So she told me you are on a training ground. The things uh, that you have been doing, mm-hmm. it will not be hard for you to do it to your own family. Right. Because you have already trained yourself and developed the muscles right. in terms of that provision. So mm. I felt to me that was really profound. Right. Uh, even well, coming through for my it, family like at like such point. She was giving it perspective. Yes. So, Yes, so the film like yes. you know, but it's good for you to learn those things. I, I don't mean I'll say it. I mean, if you do not learn something when your mind is still young and growing, uh, if I don't learn something today, mm. if I don't engage in it today and learn from it today, mm. it's, it's gonna be difficult for me to do it tomorrow. Yeah. You know, because every day my um, um, my thoughts are being compounded, you know. And you can't do it on the beach. I think it's important for us to get those things uh, at an early age. Na hii story ni kama tu vile watu wiko kwenda church na unangaja mtu yeye anaendelea ajazoea kutoa sadaka. Na ama kama unapatia ng'amu tu hii pocket money na bado anakuja kwa sadaka. Hiyo ni norma. Ama unafundishwa from your donor mbatia and give you in and inculcate the same thought. 
Yes. So I think that's an amazing thought. Anyways, before we continue, I uh, want you who's tuning in uh, to check us out at www.kuzaapp.com. Sawasawa, www.kuzaapp.com. When they have Pazu Angalia and you'll get a lot of content for your growth. Are you doing a quiet time, by the way? Are you growing in the Lord? Download the Kuza app from your app store and you'll get daily devotions that will help you to love uh, the Lord. These are things that we need to do. I know Bible reading can be a challenge, but Kuza provides you with an opportunity just to kickstart you, you know, in this particular journey. Uh, do you have some questions that you've been wondering about? Well, you also want to check us out at www.kuzaapp.com and you'll get some responses to some questions that many of us young and old people are asking. And there's a lot more. Do you desire to understand scripture? Kuna videos pale brothers that kujenga kabisa za soma and there is a lot for you to get from there. So you want to check us out and that's going to be a good thing. Are you born again if you're not born again again on the www.kuzaapp.com top right corner there's a receive christ button you want to press that there's a video that will play uh presenting the gospel to you if christ convicts your heart that you need to turn away from your sin and turn to him for your salvation then you need to do that and drop us a message and let us know um then we'll be we'll try as much as we can to connect you to a gospel preaching and believing church rather so anyways <clears throat> now so to mesema one, family is important. We are all interconnected. Secondly, uh, biblically, we are supposed to support mm. family. All right. Now, to get a two evil, we are not going to this one. We are not going to be able to do this one. Mungu wa mesema kwa yon lazima ufe. I think there is a need for us to discuss two things. One, parents are supposed to, pro- to provide for their children. What do we have to say about that? But secondly, also, uh, where do we draw the line when it comes to this kind of uh, Kusaidiana home? So I think those two flips are uh, just the way you can just uh-huh. Okay. Um, I think it is important um, we have tumekuwa na hizi cases hadi Nairobi tao. Yeah. Mali mzazi amekatuma hali kazi yake ni kutuma watoi badala wa kuwe chuo watoi ni kuzunguka wa kiombado. Uh, yes. Uh, last weekend tumekuwa na my wife tao and uh, um yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this kids come to us then she te- shares with me her story about uh, one time akiwak na uko tao she happened to uh, a kid approached her akamwambia ako na njaa and all that so the kid alikuwa na sisi yake so akawachukua wakaenda kukula nini kwa hoteli and then after that akauliza mama yenu wako wapi so uh, my wife took of course the kids to the mom kufika kuona vile mama ako smart anakaatu mtu wako na do you know Uh, she could not believe mm-hmm. ali feel like duped you know like uh, mm-hmm. I mean, you know happening that's happening a lot in town yes so yeah. there are parents who are using their kids of course to to get money you know from people wanatumia to your business um and so this is really bad and it is happening uh, for parents of course the bible has set of course in terms of obligation mm-hmm. uh, for the parents so one scripture this scripture is just powerful for yeah, me yeah. the second corinthians 12 you know 14 and this is you know right. paul he says that here for the third time i am ready to come to you and i will not be a burden for i seek not what is yours but you mm-hmm. for children are not obligated to save up for their parents mm-hmm. but parents for their children you know and, and, and even oh, imagining shit. you know being a minister mm. of the gospel mm. you know and this is his perspective mm. that i'm not after what even you have mm-hmm. i'm after you you know as an individual and i think it's a message even for the gospel ministers you know uh, being looking at paul the kind of a person he was but the key thing is about parents you know that children are not obligated uh, to save right. up for their parents but right. parents for their children mm. you know and it's great when parents think in terms of um, the kind of an inheritance you know just preparing what will you leave to your children because i know of stories whereby mm. uh, the children of course the parents use the children and then the children have to raise their own children's children you know mm. and it becomes a cycle so that right. no no family is stabilizing because the parents you know strained mm. uh, that child right. when they were growing up and even when they established their own families yeah. and they even created enmity mm. 
you know if i marry maybe my mom decides to create an enmity with my wife right. like my son is not doing what he was doing right. and so parents end up straining right. in terms of families mm. uh, and the bible keeps telling us even in proverbs 13:22 that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children right. Right. but the sinner's wealth is laid up for the righteous mm. and mm. here we are talking about children's children you know mm. yeah. so that a parent need to think beyond their own children they need to think about exactly vitoku na vile mbwekweza na whatever and uh, and Christ talking about the same uh, talking about uh, about a father you know if his son asks for fish right samaki mkunje yes so as in ata mpatia nyoka mlete kisnake amwambie ndio hii you know and uh, akiuliza mayai ama mkate hata mletea scorpio na mamawe mm. you know and then anasema if you then who are evil yeah. know how to give good gifts to your children how much more of course will the heavenly father give right uh, so the thing is that uh, even the people who don't even know god mm. uh, they know how to take good care of their children right and so even for the family of faith this is really also the same mm. again uh, for uh, even for the child there is good also to appreciate there is the part even for the parent in yeah, terms of yeah. drawing the lines yeah yeah uh, i think this is critical cuz um ikifikia ni mahali ambako parents you know they will use deceit yeah. uh to get or even threats some parents uh, or even yeah. threats yeah. exactly yeah. doing this and itakulaani itakulaani so <laughs> yes so yeah, exactly and you know the, the the worst thing of our community is that um even the pastor the community they usually come together mm, you know and, and they against gang up against you <laughs> like i have one of my friends and by yeah. the, the parent the dad left some um, lots of resources to mm. this young man mm. uh but unfortunately um what happened is that the mother decided to keep all this for herself okay. uh, and the mother was not the mother came at the point that the dad you know he was about oh, to die the mom was a, had a, left was exactly okay. and right. then what mm. happened to this family is that wakati samza and aku pass ndio madhia na come into the picture right. and I take everything mm. and so i have this uh friend of mine as in going through the ups and downs you know mm. as in she cannot put things together right. uh just struggling cannot even take care she is married mm. and cannot uh, paying rent imekuwa ni issue na ni watu wako already na maplots okay. you know mm. wako na maplots kariobangi mm. uh but so this is the problem that i think parents also need to of course to consider their children mm. uh, the issue agreed that upate donga pia utawaitosheka right yeah. how have you been able to draw the lines and i'm just 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 to hear from you a bit before oh, yeah. before we jump into the, the next One, conversation and it is something that I've, i have been learning and right. i'm also learning right, right now right right one i have set a certain amount okay every month all right i try not to exceed that unless it is very important for me to exceed yeah, that okay, okay. that is one of the first thing i do okay. the second thing i do so i you're, you're saying part of your budget part of my budget is i have this amount okay. and then with this amount uh, i don't want to exceed it all right so nitoa pair pole pole to well, well, stagger that amount throughout the month ah, okay addition not unless it is really important okay. to go beyond that all right. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. two i have defined my family <laughs> oh, I, I'm from a family? big I'm from a big family yeah extended we are so huge mm. but I know my dad I know my mom I know my brothers my sisters and my nieces okay full stop my my nephew yeah. sorry I don't have, and one don't niece have those ones are those ones are my family so mm-hmm. and then among them I have decided who is needy and who is not. not yeah all right who just wants uh, uh, when you call me i will really want to real to, to ask myself is this a need uh, because i have to ask myself uh, okay. i don't want to feed someone's family right i don't want to enable someone to laziness yeah okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, very because there's also very that important. part yeah, so yeah. so yeah sometimes i hear my grandma asking me for money 
I won't send. Like it's not my first response to send. No, yeah. Like, I will even do, do, yeah, jump, neglect jump, jump, jump. cuz she has other grandchildren. Right. She has her children. Mm. All right. I will hear one of my aunts or my uncles asking for something. I won't send. Like those ones I really yeah. don't bother a yeah. lot. Yeah. Not because I don't hate I don't want to or mm. I hate them. Mm. I am not unlimitedly resourced. Right. Okay. And so I have yeah. to really yeah. know how to create those boundaries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and for me I I I give on needs not on what oh siniambia ti unataka kununua nguo nini kutumia nguo ai why eh we give your needs go serious <laughs> food like, what is that yeah right. ukilemoa rent like four months in maybe yeah mm. something like that all yeah. right interesting now um as a single person how 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 how, how should you how should you want approach this uh, yeah. support thing I think when you just the assumption is kwanza to sisi it is it is by grace it's not an obligation mm. uh, it's right to put it that way okay. it's not an obligation that we should send money to our parents because actually the scriptural requirement is that our parents should really <laughs> Uh, when you just tell me explain have resources even for our kids even before we have but life will happen life happens yeah, and life happens we understand yeah, that uh-huh, uh-huh. and so one of the things that we should always consider in this is having things right having right. our needs right priority. we love prioritize your mm. your budget okay. mm-hmm. prioritize your budget as an individual All right. know how much you're saving know how much know where you're going mm. remember it is a good thing to help right right uh proverbs says one who gives freely yet grows all the richer <laughs> mm. another withholds like he nangana sana he never grows you know right. proverbs uh, 11 24 right. to 25 right. mm. in that kind of mindset giving has a blessing mm-hmm. and so we should be willing to give when we are single when we are married okay. the amount will vary right there are moments you will give more there are moments you will give less mm. but give freely okay. again god from that manipulation kind of thing Right. Wao jaoa sasa wewe tutumie mingi. Yeah, yeah, long na mahitaji. Ah, yeah. sasa ukianza hapo hata mimi situmi. <laughs> you know, cuz yeah, yeah, you right. don't have needs. We do have needs. We right. are saving right. up for our dowries, we are paying mm-hmm. our rents by ourselves, mm-hmm. we are eating. Mm-hmm. We we have schools. Yeah, building up. You're building, building you're ourselves building, up building, basically. Yeah, 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 and that's true, a lot. It's true, it's true. Um so we should also realize that giving is like having a treasure for our own souls okay. it teaches us that we are not we are not living just for ourselves we are living selfishly also for others it is a portraying of who jesus is uh, jesus gave his life mm-hmm. for the rest of the world right uh, so we do whenever we give money kidogo kidogo here and there mm-hmm. sacrificially we are basically expressing jesus's love to the others is there a mass should there be a need for somebody to give Yeah, there is um, you can just also just like give because it's 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 it's, it's, good. it's a good thing to give. It's a good thing to give. So yeah. still, still, still lazima kuwe na mahitaji. Yeah, it's not it's not a must. Sababu right. sometimes your parents are really well off yeah, and yeah. you have relatives who are doing so well, yeah, yeah. right? They don't they have never. I know friends who are like that. They don't really need money from right. you. Right. And so, but some some of my friends are like they they send them they send their father some money, their right. mom some money. Right. They buy a gift sometimes it's not only yeah, money yeah, no no ata suti pelekea budako no no hand bag pea mother mm-hmm. and that way you are, you are blessing their heart and you receive a blessing all the more right. remember we are giving simply because we love people we love god more we love people and that way we need god's blessing we need people's blessing all right and so we should be very careful mm-hmm. i mean to do good <laughs> galatians 6:10 in asema even right. especially to those ones who are in the household of faith okay. among believers right. we should really do good do by good. by sharing all that we have with right. them right i mean we have uh, less than a minute and so uh, i know most of the things that would have because the other thing i would have loved to discuss but we may not do that but i just want you to drop in a word um you know sadama said just because you're single does not mean that you don't have needs but also when you are married i mean how does this play out in a, in a nutshell what are a few things that if you're married and you're still in need of supporting your family what are a few things 
uh, maybe just one or two things and then we finalize this. Um, okay, one, yes. I think it is important that engage your wife in the conversation. All right. Um, yeah, be on the same page in okay. terms of what you're doing sometimes. Right. There right. is inclination, you know, this is my family, I want to do this, I want to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, mm-hmm. Yes, and so even helping your wife to understand the different needs because mm-hmm. the dynamics are different. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that is important. That mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So again, also even for the for the people who are married, uh, I think it is good. You know, like uh, you know, my mom comes first, my brother, my sister, you know, mm-hmm. and then wanting to fix your partner. Right. I think also that mm-hmm. is something that we should, uh, we, should uh, we should be wary about. Right. And so I think those are just some of the things I can mention right. uh, for the interest of time to consider. Well, well thank you so much, Justin Saddam. Well, whatever situation you find yourself in, the reality is this, that we have all been called to a life of giving. We've been given so much by the Lord that we don't deserve. And he also gives us when we are in need. But we also need to know that this is the reality of our lives. We need to give when people are in need and sometimes they are not in need, but we also still need to give because God has given us sufficiently. But in the giving, that needs to be wisely done. So as you to mark it to home, please note that sometimes Kuna will take advantage of you. So you need to evaluate the situation and ask yourself, at, to what extent am I supposed to engage in this kind of a thing? Whether you like it or not, we are not in an ideal world. Uh, we don't always have parents who have laid up treasures for us, and so we need to come through. We don't always have relatives who have laid treasures for us, and so we might be the ones to begin some of these things. Maybe it is your generation in your time, in your day, that some of these things will start happening. To make it to home. So to make it to home. Come on, you support them, Zazi. To make it to home. Mm-hmm. If you're a parent and you're listening and you've not been supporting your child, to make it to do something. See how this thing works objectively so that God is glorified and that our hearts are filled with his joy. Remember that God will supply for every need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus, especially when you do not even think that you have capacity to give. God is the provider. As you learn to live with the kidogo that you have, even from that kidogo, you know what? You can actually support uh, a family. And let me just say this part in short as we as we end the conversation. If you're there and you're like an, an, an only child and your parents are well off, then it does not mean that then the giving stops. You need to find a family that you can support. Let another family know the joy of being supported and being uh, given mm. you know because if your parents are able to and they don't need your money then god has definitely provided opportunities for us to be uh, you know meaningfully helpful to others well gentlemen thank you so much for being with us uh, it's kuza podcast until next time mungu awabariki mkiendelea kutuma kitu home